Yo, what up? It's Timster. Today we're talking about how to DJ on Streamlabs or OBS and all the way to Twitch or to Facebook using a very simplified, cost effective, fast, cheap, easy. This method works as I've used it multiple times already in utilizing my DJ set and it's simple. I'm gonna go over some of the chords I do have. I have it placed up right here. I know y'all gonna find this tutorial very helpful. And if you like content like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps with the YouTube algorithm and us being able to reach others like you all to provide the value that they essentially need as you don't see too much on here. Now you don't need a mixer, you don't need any XLR aspects, no audio interfaces, just some simplified tools that are easy to get that you can get over on Amazon. So let's get right into it. Number one, of course, you need a DJ controller. This right here is a, my DJ controller. Here is a portable version that I use with me to travel around everywhere. It's a new mark, it's very simple. You can get some by Serato. Um, but what you do need on your controller, even if it's your intermediate controller or all the way up to an advanced uh, controller, just ensure that you have the basic essential plugins with a controller with some AV connections. And then you do need a uh, headphone port, uh, both your, uh, your quarter inch and your regular headphone, and then also your mic um, put. So the controller always comes with everything by default. So if you can check these out, uh, it really does help out on your endeavors on getting this very simplified. So please have some form of a controller that has those essentials. And yes, so that's always step number one, have that DJ controller. Very crucial. This is going to be the most probably crucial thing that I have on this list right here. This is the iRig. Now I did have a full video on explaining this essential for DJing and a DJ for a very cost effective, very cheap way. The iRig basically works as an amplifier for you. But what you can do is that you can eventually connect it into the PC so you can get it. Because when I taught this originally, the iRig, I showed it to how to stream through your phone while getting adequate audio. Wow, this time around, we're gonna use this iRig to really get into the PC. And so on top of that, you need your quarter inch adapter from your iRig. So iRig would be next, quarter inch adapter, plug that in. That's going to get in. Next is going to be, now this right here is the number one thing. On top of your iRig is very important. On top of your iRig, you're going to need a audio to a USB. Now, the audio to the USB, the reason why, because this right here is king. So this is basically your king and your queen. And with the audio, you're going to plug it into the PC. Now you have an open audio format. And it's very easy. It's a very simplified, just USB to a out external audio. It shows where you can plug in headphones or you can plug in any form of an auxiliary cord. Now what you would do, instead of using that quarter inch, you do always need a quarter inch on deck because with DJ systems, they all vary. Plugging in this format, you plug the USB in with the external audio and then you plug that i rig into it when you plug the i rig into it you now have a full on boom and the reason why we have this as the quarter inch is that it goes in through the other side boom and so that kind of displays right there and the reason why we have that quarter inch extension is so when we plug it in we can have an external source which is going to be our next thing right now so with that we're going to go over everything right now trust me if it sounds confusing i got you i don't no worries it, go AV to auxiliary that's going to be into your controller. I showed you earlier the controller in which I'm going to set up that full setup right now. But so ba uh, your PC is going to go USB auxiliary into the iRig. Literally two adapters is all you need. And these are very cheap. I got it from like seven bucks, I think, and like five bucks on Amazon, like really cheap. If not, at most, you'll be spending less than 20 bucks for two pieces of crucial equipment. The reason why we have that quarter inch adapter towards the amplifying ad, uh, amplifier of the iRig, it goes right into, boom, into your AVs now. And now I'm gonna demonstrate where the AVs go on your controller, which is right here. So you see on my controller, I have two AVs right here, and that is gonna be into the white. I literally have a white and a red, that's all I have on my, this is my traveling controller and I could pull up full DJ experience into Streamlabs and OBS. And what's important about that is that you can have a green screen, you can have all your effects, you can have all your alerts going because now you're co completely plugged in all of this into the PC. And the importance of that is that you're able to utilize everything because what I showed in my previous video is that you were only allowed 
to stream through your phone and your phone can't have all those essentials now a phone would be cool if you're just utilizing some cool wi-fi in a hotel room and you want to stream real quick or if you want to travel real quick but now to even up it up more you can bring some form of a travel size around you in your room and you can plug all this in so let's go on to the next step so having all of that do which i'm going to go over at the end those go into your computer and now you have a full all you have to do is when you have all of that set up before you plug it in and then you plug it into your pc when you plug it into your pc it reads that external adaption option right here that provides that utmost cost and literally this adapter and the iRig gets you fully going on a full dj stream no audio interface when it reads this next you all you have to do on Streamlabs obs is put it into an audio input and there's the audio and it shows you literally everything how it looks it gives you examples of what audio inputs are it says an additional usb an additional auxiliary that's plugged in any mp3s all you have to simply put is another usb and it literally titles this as its own name i forgot it's like external usb something and it reads it and then your pc tells you everything it's literally that easy guys let's go over a full thing right so say what i said from step one boom dj controller right next what i talked about is ordering an irig from amazon or ebay they literally come up this is the first irig that ever came out they have updates too like newer ones you can use those also uh, and this can work while playing your instruments live on stream that's incredible why just look how small these gadgets are these two gadgets are literally this small and less than 20 bucks and you can have a full organic stream without all your interfaces without all your plugs without all your xlr mics without everything and so so let's go over it boom controller we have the irig separate so from the controller we plug in the avs so we'll plug in the avs right now and sorry it's gonna take a little long guys but it's just to thoroughly go over everything boom we plug in the avs into the essential then we grab the irig separately have your own quarter inch plug in now the av ports now and all the way out into an audio uh, auxiliary so it's just going to be a av out basically what i'll call it we plug that into the quarter inch into our irig very simple now the irig is left alone right now this alone right here would be able to get you to stream through your phone with the highest of quality without hearing any ambient noise it literally would sound like if somebody's jamming out on spotify or itunes or whatever this next level adapter and this ends my other mobile phone video so to add on to that you get this adapter now and you literally connect it and then you have a usb port so now you have everything plugged in from your controller obviously on your laptop to whenever you're djing boom you have this plug it into your pc while you have everything set up onto you because you need your laptop also to actually be playing music right if you're using serato program we're using that at the end after that we plug this into the pc it reads everything you put into Streamlabs or your obs to get into twitch and facebook assuming you already have everything set up boom that goes in it reads it you have that audio input after that you are just simply mixing and avoiding copyright and you're playing it and on top of all these connections have your dj set up like you would if you were in a bar if you're in an event and these are for like actual djs that know exactly what i'm talking about because you're not going to be DJing through Streamlabs. You're going to be DJing through your laptop. But as long as all of this is plugged in, all you need is your DJ outsource to be plugged into your actual U your, your USB for your DJ, which is this one. And so this right here goes into your laptop. So boom, this will go into a laptop. The other end is going to go into the actual DJ component that goes into your laptop so now literally you're here you're mixing you're looking at your laptop and now you have your monitored actual stream on stream labs and that is it and you're mixing this is insane the equipment it takes for all of this guys it takes hundreds and thousands of dollars with clouds and audio interfaces and xlr marks you can literally use whatever you're using to already stream, uh, stream on twitch and add your dj essentials to up your stream It'll be your DJ and your smaller laptop, your stream, if you uh, DJ on Odell, if you have just uh, any form of Serato light, if you have virtual DJ, whatever program you have, it works as long as you have these USB adapters going into Streamlabs and into OBS 
to get you onto Twitch and Facebook. And there's apps to help you stream to both. And then essentially, OBS can get you to TikTok now. This is a very much slept on criteria. You should try this out as these plugs are very important. I'm going to list all these plugs down and then you can get them on Amazon for very cheap and you don't need these. These are all USB plugins on top of a USB mic. You already have a full DJ setup and that's incredible. And so I highly advise you all if you all have any questions, leave them in the comments below as I appreciate you all. This is a full setup from going to the controller to an AV to an auxiliary and to your actual DJ setup into a laptop utilizing an iRig and a USB to an audio external source to connect the iRig into. It's beautiful. You can DJ. I've done full streams with it. I appreciate you all. If this content has helped you out, please give it a thumbs up as we are trying to build more on our YouTube partner and help us get that algorithm to help other DJs out that want to DJ overnight really easy. These are for people that already have a full DJ setup. You just need two adapters to get yourself onto a full stream with all the nicks and aspects and all the fun stuff and adding green screen and more. I appreciate you. My name is Simster. Peace.